subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is mutualism mutualism it is a positive interaction between the two species where both are benefited now it is a close physical relationship and is an obligatory relationship in which one or they are completely dependent upon each other for the growth and survival the organisms provide resources to each other so mutualism is an interaction between two species where both are benefited it is a close physical relationship and they are completely dependent on each other they cannot live separately and each one provides a resource to the other examples of mutualism first rhizobium present in the root nodules of leguminous plants now in leguminous plants root nodules are seen where the rhizobium bacteria lives the rhizobium carries out nitrogen fixation for the plant and makes it available to it and in turn it derives nutrition from the plant so you can see that they both help each other one provides nitrogen to the plant and in return it gets nutrition from the plant next is mycorrhizae the mycorrhizae is association of fungus with roots of higher plants now this is a fungal association with the roots of the plant the fungus obtains carbohydrate from the plant and in return it helps in absorption of minerals for the plant next example is lichens or lichens it is a symbiotic association between algae and fungi the fungus usually belongs to class ascomycetes while the algae it is either green algae or blue green algae now it is a close association where they cannot live separately inside the thallus also you can see that the main part of the thallus is occupied by the fungus mycelium and also present is the algae now the fungus provides protection to the algae which in turn synthesizes food by the process of photosynthesis providing it to the fungal component 
Another example is bacteria in gut of some animals. Example in herbivores. The bacteria present in the gut helps in digestion of cellulose. A mutualistic relationship occurs between the plants and animals. Animals helps in pollination and dispersal of seeds and fruits. In return, the animals obtain nectar from the flowers and also food in the form of fruits. Now there has been a co-evolution -evol scene between the plant and animal interaction. Evolution has occurred in the flowers and its pollinators. Means the flowers and the pollinators have specifically developed so that they can help each other. For example, yucca and pronoba moth. Now the yucca flower provides nectar to the moth. In return, the moth stays in the flower laying eggs in its ovary and in return carrying out pollination And by the time this ovary has formed the fruit, these eggs have developed into larvae and they move out of the ovary. So this such type of association is known as mir melacophily. That is a symbiotic association between a flower and an insect. Now another example is fig tree and wasp. Now the fig tree can only use wasp as its partner in pollination. The female wasp uses the fruit to lay eggs and also uses its developing seeds for nourishing its larvae. In return, it carries out pollination. Next example is Ophrys and bees. It is a Mediterranean orchids. Now orchids have evolved to attract right pollinator insects so that they get assured pollination. Like for example in case of Ophrys which employs sexual dece deceit for pollination. In this case, one petal of the flower resembles the female bee. The petal resembles the female bee in size, color and marking, due to which the male bee gets attracted towards the flower, thinking it to be the female bee and pseudo copulates with it. During this process, it gets dusted with the pollens present in the flower. Now, when this bee moves to some other flower, the pollens that were attached to the body of the male bee get transferred to the flower in the process carrying out pollination. Now this is a best example of how co-evolution operates. Proto-cooperation. Now proto-cooperation is a type of mutualism which is not 
obligatory means it is the relationship between two organisms which stay with each other both are benefited but one can survive in the absence of the other one can survive in the absence of the other the best example of which is sea anemone this is a sea anemone and the hermit hermit crab now the sea anemone gets attached to the shell of the hermit crab it grows on the back of the crab providing it camouflage it protects the crab from the predators so it provides camouflage and protection to the crab in the process it gets transported by the crab to new food sources next example of proto cooperation is tick bird and rhinoceros tick bird that is oxpecker it feeds on the ticks and other parasites present on the body of the rhinoceros now these are the tick birds which feed on the ticks and other parasites present on the body of the rhinoceros they get food and in turn protect the rhinoceros from pests another example is crocodile and bird now the bird feeds on the tiny bits of food stuck in the teeth of the crocodile in turn helping to clean the mouth so that it is free of any infection so these are the examples of mutualism and proto cooperation that's all for today please do like subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below thank you thank you for watching